All right, let me try to take you through the course as it's set up in Blackboard. Now we are going to, or depending if you listen to this after class, we have gone through this in class, but I know that sometimes you don't get it right away. So this video exists to help you uh, navigate the course just in case you get lost. So when you log into the course in Blackboard, you're always going to land on the announcement page. It's a good idea to make sure that you read the announcements. When I make them, I all I always send them to your community college email also. And the most recent announcement is going, always going to be on top. Generally, I will do one announcement a week. I tend to do it on, on like a Friday afternoon. I will open the work for the following week. Uh, and nothing disappears. So you can always scroll back through. For example, let's see, uh, there are two things, two messages that I did not create that come that it, you would see in every class that you take. One of them has to do with email and making sure that uh, you get into the habit of checking your student email and also that you have access to the full Microsoft Office suite. We will talk about that in class. I know a lot of you, if not 100% of you, like Google Docs because that's what you are used to. It poses problems. So um, I'm going to show you how you can access Word. And also, uh, it's a good idea to use a computer rather than your phone when you're taking tests, quizzes, or completing assignments because the using Blackboard on your phone is not, it's, for whatever reason, it's not as rich. It's not fully supported, as they say. Okay, so let me go back up. On the left-hand side of the page are the areas of the course that uh, we use. We just went over the announcements. Uh, I'm just going to skip to this right now. The Help Desk, Library, and Student Resources, those are the same for every single class that you take. So if you're having problems, click on the help desk. Problems with Blackboard, um, not problems with this specific course. Uh, here's a nice, let me just click on this, a nice quick link to the various libraries that we have. Let me get out of there. Okay, student resources give you access to uh, various, uh, Yep, my mind just went blank. Uh, various resources that are available to students. Okay, let me go back up. All right, so the syllabus, uh, Tungs has only recently started calling the, uh, a, a document the syllabus. In the past, we called it the, the student course outline, and I will probably forget from time to time and still refer to it as the student course outline, but it is the same thing as a uh, student course outline or syllabus. So when you click on this, I'm going to change this to <laughs> syllabus slash student course outline. So you've got the, the syllabus course outline. I have it in both Word and also in a PDF, depending on what you like. Um, the semester calendar, the same thing in both Word and PDF. And then there is a document that we are to include. It's supposed to be part of the syllabus, but then it makes the syllabus about 90 pages long. So anyways, let me um, let me pull it up as a PDF. It's just a little easier. Okay. So I don't want to read this to you, but I would encourage you to go through this document. Uh, there's how many pages? I can't see. <laughs> In any case, just, just go through this and... Sorry. I will, in class, I'll tell you, I had surgery on my thumb. I'm wearing a huge uh, splint on my hand, so I'm doing everything left-handed. All righty. So my suggestion is go through this, look at it in detail so there are no surprises, and please ask questions if you have them. Okay. Um, I know that people are always curious about how things are going to be graded. And so I, the section that's called evaluation and grading, I go over, uh, I, I break everything out. And then I will, when we get to the section called my grades, I will show you that.
Okay. Uh, this is standard. Standard, standard, standard. Okay. We're... Sorry. Isn't it wonderful listening to people when they're scrolling? <clears throat> Uh, I want to tell you about the green cards again. Talk about this and talked about this in class. Every student, if, if we were in the classroom, I would hand you actually two little two little rectangles, laminated rectangles. One of them says this allows you to miss one assignment and get full credit for it. The other one says uh, this this green card allows you to hand in an assignment late because work has to come in on the due dates. It's just, it, it's, I, I understand that college is stressful and it is, it can be easy to fall behind, but from my own experience and from dealing with many, many, many students over time, I know that once you start to fall behind, it snowballs and it gets harder and harder to get caught up. So I, I will hold you to, if something is due on the, 21st, you have to get it in on the 21st. If life gets crazy and you say, I just, I don't have it to do this assignment, green card it. Either saying, uh, please, I, you know, I need a three day extension, or I would like to completely skip this assignment. What I have noticed is a lot of students say they're going to hand it in late and then they never hand it in at all. So that, that becomes a problem. So I want you to think very carefully before using these green cards. Okay, um, scrolling all the way down to the bottom, here's the, the schedule for this course. And um, I have the exact same thing. Let me, hey, let me scroll up a little bit. Um, hold on. Uh, all right, what happens if I do this? There we go. Ah, shoot, got completely out of the course. Sorry about that. Um, Da, 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 back to the calendar, uh, the semester calendar. If you happen to, I like calendars. I like charts. I like graphs. This takes the, the all that information that was in that table and I wrote it up as if it were a calendar because to me, I don't know, it's just, I just like to know when things are due and I, I, I think in calendar, is that possible? Okay, so we'll go back to content. Alrighty, so that's the syllabus and course outline. The textbook is on reserve at the library. Unfortunately, it, it is a hard copy. We no longer allow students to have access to an electronic version. I don't know why. Um, and for some reason, I have the resources, policies, and procedures here once again. Okay, uh, course content. Basically, it's that same uh, mobile app warning. There's the getting started, which which is in every single class. So it's all here. Um, course content, let me go back up here. And then you will see every week there is a folder that says work for the week of whatever it is. Okay. So uh, there are two videos there. This one, how to navigate the course, which I am currently re-recording. And then I'm going to do a submitting work and accessing feedback. I just realized there is a problem with this, uh, this second video. So I am re-recording -re that. Okay. Then there is uh, a link to student resources for interplay. Uh, this is, let me, let me just click on it so you can see. Um, this takes you out of the course. And it's called um, Learning Link. Um, okay, uh, my instructor is not assigning the resources in a platform. I'd like to use the resources for self-study online. So if you click on that, it just, it, it just, if you are someone who, if you want to learn vocabulary using, I just went blank, is it called Quizlet? They have things like, things like that. Okay, so this is optional for you. Everyone learns differently. I, I think it's a good idea. Uh, there's a quiz on the course outline or the syllabus and the, the, the two videos. For this first quiz, you can take the quiz over and over again until you get full credit. Every quiz is worth 10 points with an extra credit assignment. So technically, okay, there are 13 chapters. So there, uh, technically with this 100 
and 40 points altogether for all the quizzes if you you could you could end up with 154 points so i build in a little extra credit there okay so uh, let me go back and then there's uh, some important information from the administration so every week there will be a folder uh, of the material for for that week I have a discussion board and basically it's if you have general questions here I can't see something um, I don't understand something this is if you post it there everyone can see it I like that because let's say uh, you you put something up as late at night and you really want the answer fairly quickly and I am not a night owl but one of one of your fellow students is and they see this question they might have the answer okay um, I'm going to tell you about if your if your question is something that you don't want to share with the entire class I will show you how you can get in touch with me I'm asking people to please post a brief bio just a short paragraph it I know this sounds strange but when I think a, a lot of professors feel this but definitely I do if I see you and I hear your voice and I learn a little bit about you you become more real for me and I mean, I am I am scrupulously fair with everyone, but I will have to tell you with students that I get more of a sense of who they are as a person. I think unintentionally their grade skews higher. Okay, so we could talk about that in class. All right. Um, the next one says WebEx. Here is oopsies. If you click on this. It gets gets you into um, the meeting directly. So let me get out of there because oh hi, this is me. Okay, <clears throat> um, so <laughs> messages. If you click on messages, if you if you want to send me a message privately, you click on this. Oh stop. Yes, I know I'm not in the meeting yet. Let me get out of here. Okay, and I'm I'm not I'm in my my grubbies right now. Okay. Yes, I I'm a real person. I wear sweatshirts. <laughs> okay. Create message, and then you who is it to? So you click on this, and you can do 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 do. Uh, let's see. Go all the way down. There we go. Uh, you click. You're gonna send <sighs> to me, Marguerite Young, instructor. You gotta make sure you click it over, and then you what's the subject, and you type the message, and then. You make sure always that you click I mean that you click on this thing submit okay so let me go back up oh my goodness it's, <laughs> I know I don't it's 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 challenging to do things um one-handed okay I'm gonna skip over this first for right now I'll talk about this later uh, but with for my grades huh, I understand it is overwhelming but this lists every single graded assignment for the whole semester they it it if i did it correctly it's in order of when it is due so if you're never sure boy is do we have do we have a journal due this week even though i have reminded you in class and i've reminded you in the announcement you can always go here and you can say okay let's see this weekend and ah no there is not okay so this is how you can keep track of your grades all right, so as I said, I will go over the um, assignment descriptions and sample assignments later. And I would say to you right now, don't spend a lot of time there because I have made some changes in how I'm grading things. And so the samples that you see are just going to be a little bit different. All right, so remember, this is here. If you if you say we went over it in class but i don't remember what professor yowen said obviously um go here y you know it's it's going to be like a 15 minute video if you can't sit still for 15 minutes pause it and come back to it that's I, that's what i like about videos okay uh remember any question please ask what do they say the only stupid question is one that's not asked <laughs>